Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and welcome to yet another brand new video of my career dreams. Myself Adit Nair and in today's video we will be discussing about the top 20 news of today's world. So in the last 24 hours a lot of things has happened in our day to day world and today we are going to look after the top 20. In sports section, Shadal Thakur and Sanju Samson seal series victory. Indian pace bowler Shadal Thakur's 3 for 38 and Sanjay Samson's dazzling 43 from 39 balls not out helped India win the second ODI by 5 wickets and also moreover clinched the series 2 0 against Zimbabwe. Second, Harry Kane's record in Tottenham win. Harry Kane's 250th Tottenham goal took Spurs to the top of the Premier League with a 1 0 win of the Wolves on Saturday. Number 3, Prague loses, slips to second spot. After a dream run, R. Pragananda had an off day against Vietnam's Liam Lee Quang and lost the match 0.5, 2.5 to slip to second spot behind Magnus Carlsen. Number 4. Rajasthan stunned ATK Mohan Bagan. Rajasthan United FC created the first major upset of the 131st edition of the Durand Cup, downing ATK Mohan Bagan 3-2 in its first Group B league outing at the Salt Lake Stadium. Number 5. New Zealand level series. Tim Saudi and Trent Bolt claimed three wickets each as West Indies was all out for 161 runs, chasing against the New Zealand's 212 in the second ODI here on Friday. Number 6. Proteus runaway test, runaway wins test England's baseball strategy. The visitors' innings and 12 runs triumph over a stunt host on Friday belied England's Terrific start to its cricketing summer, highlighting four victories in the game's longest format. Rival captain Dean Elgar embroiled his vicious pace bowling attack of Kagi Sorabara, Lugi Nigiri, Marco Johnson, and Andre Gnoshe, which was too much for the English top and middle order batsmen to handle. World new Business News Number 7 China Russia China's Russia call imports hit a five year high. China's call imports from Russia jumped 14% in July from a year earlier to their highest in at least five years as China had brought large quantities of Russian discounted coil recently. Number 8. Japan's Lixil ice sales worth 1000 crore over, over the next three years in India. Japan-based building materials and housing equipment maker Lixil Corporation is aiming for a minimum of rupees 1000 crore worth sales in India in the next three years. World News At least 13 killed in Somalia hotel siege. Dozens were wounded in a militant attack on a hotel in Somalia's capital, officials said on Saturday as security officials battled with the gunmen barricaded inside many hours after the siege began. Russian attack injures 12 in southern Ukraine. 12 Ukrainians, including 13 Three children were wounded on Saturday after Russian forces attacked an apartment building and several and several other houses in the city of Vosnek. Pakistan wants permanent peace with India through talks. PM of Pakistan Shahbaz Sharif has said that Pakistan wants permanent peace with India through dialogue as war well is not an option for either of the two countries. Russian crops, fertilizers must reach world markets, UN chief. Russian fertilizers and other products must be able to reach world markets or a global food crisis could strike early next year, 2023. French President Emmanuel Macron to visit Algeria to revive ties. French President Emmanuel Macron will visit Algeria next week in a bid to revive strained ties between Paris and Algeria. The French president said in a statement here on Saturday. News Spice Jet Pilot loses license for six months. Directorate General of Civil Aviation has suspended the license of a pilot for six months for a mid flight incident in May, which resulted in injuries to a few people on board. Assam government doctors will now retire at 70. The Assam government has raised the retirement age of doctors in government medicinal medical colleges from 65 to 70 years. Two dead, seven hurt in Madura Stampede. Two devotees were killed and seven others were injured because of overcrowding in a Madura temple late Friday night. 20, 
one killed in Himachal Pradesh rain havoc. The Himachal Pradesh Department of Tourism and Civil Aviation has advised tourists to travel safely. They are also being advised and cautioned not to go near rivers and hill slides as well. Village head beats up Dalit youth. A village head was recently arrested on Saturday for beating up a Dalit youth with a footwear at Tajpur village in Muzaffarnagar. Malayalam made mandatory for entry to government services. The state government has made Malayalam a mandatory language for entry to government services hereafter. Number 20. Sri Lanka Minister hopes visit of Chinese vessel, vessel on August 16 bond stock row between India and China. So these are the top 20 news that we have for today. And thank you and please subscribe the channel for more such news.